What is going on guys? My name is Mehul and welcome to your sixth TypeScript tutorial, I guess. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you some basic data types of TypeScript and how to make use of them. So what TypeScript provides is that it can actually let you bind your data into a custom data type so that you are not able to or you don't accidentally modify your data anywhere else your variable anywhere else in your code so you can just make your data of a fixed data type so how to do that let's take a look at the boolean one first so let's just say this is my flag and i set it to a boolean now this colon right there you can see you first have to write the name of your variable then a colon then its data type and this would be the basic syntax for all of the code in TypeScript so once you have done that that means that this flag is now a boolean type of variable alright now I want to do what I want to do is just assign it a value of true now I can assign it a value of false here and true here again but I can do something like flag equals wow so that is not allowed so if I just compile this right now this code as you can see it just compiles perfectly fine with a comment as well but if I just uncomment this code and compile it again you see that it throws me an error type string is not assignable to type boolean so it doesn't compile very well but it still compiles into a javascript file and that's what i told you is that typescript would always compile into a javascript file no matter how wrong your code is and sometimes your javascript would look and work completely fine as if there is no error but sometimes it won't and this would be the best practice is that you don't leave any sort of error in your compiler of TypeScript now this was with the boolean one and with number what we do is we just write here the number and just like that you can do like assign a number and that's pretty much how you create a number so if I just change this to num number with string You just do like that with then you have got arrays okay so arrays are a bit um, you know interesting because they can hold multiple values and to create an array you just do simply the thing we were doing and that is my array and then a colon and then you need to write the data type let's just say this is numbers number and these two square brackets so these two square brackets denote that you are going to write an array here and then finally you would just write your array and what you observe here is that if you write something else so you see that I have assigned this a value a data type of number but I'm writing numbers and string though this kind of thing is allowed in javascript and works perfectly fine when you're coding in javascript still the typescript shows you an error because you have explicitly mentioned that this array would be a number so if i just compile this you'll see that it throws me a couple of lines as error but it still compiles because of the reason i told you so how to fix this well to fix this what we make use of is any data type now this any data type what it would do is that it would basically create a variable just like we used to do in the vanilla JS right there so in JavaScript what you need to do is you just create a variable anything anything like that and you can just assign it any value so the moment this is false the next moment this is a string the next moment this is a number the next moment this is something object something like that so this works completely fine with TypeScript as well you can achieve this functionality by making use of the any so if I just write any here instead of number or anything else 
now you can uh, just write any value right there so if I just create um, like if I do like num equals string and just compile this code you can see that on line 3 it shows me that type string is not assignable to type number but the moment I change it to any and compile it again you can see that it compiles without any errors so that's pretty much how you do the basic data type manipulation with TypeScript and uh, yeah so that's all for this tutorial and in the next tutorial we'll be discussing some more cool features and how to's on TypeScript and I'll see you then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching